Hey everybody, the Gamer Guru 51 here, and welcome to the bonus episode of Pokemon Crystal. So, throughout this game, there is only one thing that I miss while playing through it, and that is the absolute final rival fight of the game. Now, the reason why I missed this fight is because the fight itself is very time restricted. You can only get access to this fight on Mondays and Wednesdays, and at the time of the finale being recorded, I recorded it on a Sunday, and I had to wait until, well, today to record it. So, the purpose of this bonus episode is just to simply show off the final rival fight. Now, I will say, if you're between level 45 to 50, this fight could be pretty fun for you, because his Pokémon not only have been trained a little bit more since last time, but they have better move sets to complement their typing as well, and I think that's fantastic. So, let's go ahead and get this fight started, shall we? Hold it. You're going to take the Pokémon League Challenge now. That's not going to happen. My super well-trained Pokémon are going to pound you. Jamie, I challenge you. And of course, we get this amazing music once again, but Jeremy wants to battle. He's going to lay things off with a Sneasel, level 45, Dark and Ice type with the moves, Quick Attack, Screech, Faint Attack, and Fury Cutter. Not too much has changed with this Sneasel, but it still goes down to the same old fire attacks because it's pretty frail, and it will go down rather easily to the fire type move as well. So say goodbye to that Sneasel, a nice critical hit there that was pretty useless, but down it goes. Your next Pokemon is, ooh, your starter, you're already setting up the big guys, aren't you? Alright, Flower, this is your time to shine. So he, his ace, Feraligator, level 50, water type with the move, Surf, Rain Dance, Slash, and Screech. Definitely has better move sets since last time. If you chose Totodile, he will have a Meganium, level 50, Grass type with the move, Safeguard, Giga Drain, Body Slam, and Light Screen. And if you chose Chikorita, he'll have a Typhlosion, level 50, Fire type with the move, Swift, Smoke Screen, Quick Attack, and Flame Wheel. Uh, definitely the Typhlosion is the least threatening of the three. The Feraligator is probably the most threatening thing because it has Surf and Rain Dance, which could be devastating if you're not prepared for it. Crobat! That is right, guys, he now has a Crobat. After training his Golbat and becoming, becoming more friendly with his Pokémon, he is able to acquire Crobat, level 48, Poison Flying type of the moves, Toxic, Bite, Confuse Ray, and Wing Attack. This could be devastating considering, well, well, the Quick Claw activated, so I guess it's not going to be that bad. But Confuse Ray does prove to be a problem. It has Toxic, which can stall you out if you're not ready for it. Its attacks don't do that much damage to Bro anyways, but we should be fine. Nothing to worry about here. Halfway done, his next Pokémon is Magneton. Of course, as always, Red Bull will come in to take the kill here. Magneton is going to be level 45, Electric Steel type with the moves, Thunder, Sonic Boom, Thunder Wave, and Swift. Goes down easily to the ground type move as per usual, nothing really threatening to worry about. So we'll just go on and do that and take him down rather quickly actually. So say goodbye to that Magneton because it is Gonzo. Alright, two more Pokemon left and he will be gone. Who is next? Gengar. Alright, I could just stick with Red Bull here, but I want all of my Pokemon to gain some screen time, so Nikki is going to be next for this fight. Gengar, level 46, Ghost and Poison type with the moves, Mean Look, Curse, Shadow Ball, and Confuse Ray. This thing could be threatening if you're at around that level range, but since we are way above that level range, this is going to go down really quickly. I wish I had shown this fight off before the finale, that way my grinding wouldn't have to be overpowering this trainer that we got here. And it's our. I, I'm glad the final fight, the true final fight of the game, is our rival. Uh, his next Pokemon is Alakazam. I could send out Patrol. You know what? The, I think I'm going to. Alakazam, level 46, Psychic type with the moves Recover, Future Sight, Psychic, and Reflect. Um, he, if he sets up Reflect, that could prove to be an issue, but I'm not too worried about it because, well, we should be able to take him down relatively easily here. If we get a flinch, of course. And there is the Psychic. Um, Betro has proved to take Psychic Attacks before, so that maybe he won't go down to the Psychic. Beautiful. So one more bite, and I think that's going to close the curtain on this bite, and on this Let's Play as a whole. Thank you, Jeremy, for the final fight. Okay, I lost. Darn, I still can't win. I, I have to think more about my Pokémon. Huh, <laughs> try not to lose. 
Alright, you guys. So, with the final fight of the game being done, the true final fight, that is, once again, going to close off this Let's Play. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so very much for watching. And I guess I will see you guys next time for whatever else I decide to do next. Whatever the case may be. See you guys then.